Thanks, everyone, and thank you for joining us on another exciting episode of Inside the Dell. I'm Tiffany Correa, your assistant principal. In today's episode, we'll be focusing on some new and long-standing programs that can fulfill the elective requirements for career, family, and life skills. The courses highlighted will be Spark the Passion, Coding, STEM, Introduction to Engineering and Design. Our first special guest is Ms. McGinley, who will be joining us to discuss a brand new course entitled Spark the Passion. How are you doing, Ms. McGinley? Great, thanks for having me, Ms. Correa. Yeah, no problem, happy for you to be here. Ms. McGinley, could you give us a brief overview on how this idea kind of came about to be a new program? I think we in the English department wanted to find another avenue to increase our students' familiarity with research and finding good sources and you know, lateral reading and really working in collaboration with our library and media specialists to develop those skills. And we always are advocates for both choice and voice. Uh, we believe in the English department that if students have more choice, they are more engaged and more likely to want to learn more and hopefully become experts in something they already are very passionate about. I love that idea of having students' voice and choice being part of their own academic experience. So that's like really exciting for our students. Um, so you already kind of told us also a brief overview with your previous answer. So I'm going to go on to the next question, which what type of skills or key skills do you envision our students walking away from after taking this course? Well, obviously, we envision our students with stronger research skills. We envision collaboration both within the class itself and within the community, sort of creating a creative inquiry, a collaborative thinking process that's not just within the school. They maybe have to reach out to experts. We see a development of public speaking skills and creating sort of an authentic project. We really envision this course as the teacher not being sort of the sage on the stage, but more being the guide on the side, helping to facilitate student learning and help them sort of go to that next step of what they care about and take those skills with them as they work through their Riverdell experience. Yeah, and real transferable skills also being developed during this course that they could take out into the community or out into their future careers. So that's really wonderful. Uh, could you say, uh, shed some light on the type of student that you think might really benefit from this course? I think the type of student would be someone who maybe has a lot of passions and wants to explore them or someone who feels that sometimes the courses they feel boxed in they have to you know mm -hmm. especially in English everyone has to read this book or everyone has to write this paper and they want sort of a more personalized experience where they're a more active participant in their learning driving it forward sort of putting them in the driver's seat as opposed to being in the passenger seat. Yeah, and this is really a good opportunity for any of those entrepreneurial type students that we might have to yes, really absolutely. see their kind of vision or their thought process coming to life. Well, what a great opportunity for our students to break down the walls of the classroom and just explore their own internal self. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for being with us today to explore this new course to us, which is Spark the Passion. Um, and in a moment, we will be hearing from our coding course with our teacher representative, Ms. Sagalcheck. Welcome back. And today we're going to be shining another spotlight on another new course, Coding. In fact, a staggering 58% of job vacancies seeking conditions with coding skills involved. So this is very kind of relevant to what we're doing today. So today with me, we have Ms. So uh, Sagalcheck to help us shed some light on this course. Hi, Ms. Sagalcheck. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. And thank you for coming. Uh, so, Ms. Sagalcheck, can you tell us a little bit of an overview of this course? Uh, this course is, will basically introduce students to what coding is, mm -hmm. what uh, uh, languages coding runs on. In this course, it will be Java and uh, how you can program uh, little robots and anything else to work with. <laughs> nice. So, you said already that the skills that they'll be learning are Java, right? But what other kind of activities you might 
see or foresee happening in this course? Well, in this course, we'll learn how to use filters, how to manipulate uh, the backgrounds, the colors of pictures and videos, mm -hmm. how to make something move, um, and do anything that you would normally do if you were either a computer programmer or some apps like uh, Instagram or Snapchat, they use different filters. Well, we're gonna, in our course, we're gonna actually create the, our own and uh, use them. Wonderful, so real transferable skills that they could actually do on their everyday life or even in their future careers, right? Correct, yeah, if somebody wants to create a website, they can mm -hmm. do the same thing. They can, if they don't like the background of their picture, they can create a code and it will give it whatever background it wants or what they want the picture to or the video to do. Yeah, it's like real magic, right? Yes. At their fingertips. So I see you have a little bot over here. Do you yeah. want to tell us what it is and kind of how it works? Uh, it's a Sphero robot and uh, sometimes we'll stop with our coding activities and we'll play with them mm -hmm. and we'll get them to move either by uh, just drawing a path for it Ooh. or We'll uh, create, like, write a code and let it uh, spin, uh, change color, mm -hmm. uh, basically do anything you want it to do. And all that with a click of a button, huh? Correct. <laughs> and a bunch of codes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So uh, can you shed some light on kind of the type of student that you think might really benefit from this class? Actually, any student who is interested in coding uh, and or wants to know what coding is and uh, they'll have fun with it. Um, all you need to do is have your own pictures and videos and mm -hmm. uh, the rest of it will learn in the classroom and manipulate it. And so if you want to know what coding is, uh, this is the class for you. And if you just want to perfect it, you can also join and have some fun. Nice. So it seems like a real fantastic introductory course to the world of coding and STEM in general, right? Yes. Oh, I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us and having a, a real insight into our program for our elective highlights. And let's not forget, Mastery of Coding opens doors to the world and other countless opportunities in our now digital world that we have, off, we have currently. Up next, we'll be hearing from Dr. Houston, who will be guiding us on a deep dive into a new course, STEM. Thank you for joining us. Today we're here with Mr. Pepe, our last minute substitute, our pitch hitter, to talk to us about the benefits and expectations of Riverdale's new course, which is our STEM class. Hi, how are you? Good, good morning. Happy I could jump in. Yes. Caught me in the hallway. Yes, I did. Mr. Pepe, <laughs> research has shown that 52% of our youth will consider a career in STEM due to the fact that st skills that are developed in STEM courses support about 67% of our U.S. job market. Uh, can you shed some light on the brief synopsis of kind of why STEM is so important mm -hmm. to our students? Absolutely. So STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's taught by Doc Houston, um, as you all know, and it's so important to the students in, in today's world. So what we're trying to do here at Riverdale is expand our STEM program to develop uh, more opportunities for our students um, you know, on a daily basis. And students that really want to dig deep into science and technology mm -hmm. and engineering um, should sign up for this class um, and create a great experience and you never know where that could take you in the future. What is kind of the brief overview of this course in a nutshell for our students? Okay, so um, you know we do have current uh, engineering classes going on as you might hear from Ms. Warner uh, in her description, but this is something a little bit different. So this is for a student that really wants to think outside the box mm -hmm. um, and be challenged, but also at the same time prepare them for maybe their future job that mm -hmm. they might be interested in, or get a taste of different avenues of technology and engineering to see if it's something that they really want to pursue uh, in their future. So um, maybe you can shed a little bit more light on, on the program as well. Yeah, and we, we know that some of the skills that come from STEM is really that outside the box thinking, the kind of exploring of things that are also kind of already substantial, already created, but building on top of that to kind of grow things or make things more, I guess, accessible in our day-to-day -day lives, making things a little bit easier, I guess, for us, which is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing, uh, but really kind of just exploring 
um, what science STEM, all of these content areas that we're learning kind of in those individual silos in mm -hmm. school right now. And we're kind of mashing them together, which is making a really enriching experience, showing kids that also that you're learning this for a reason and this is how it can all fit together. We all know that STEM is very short and succinct. We do know that there's also bridges to that, like stream, mm. steam, um, which those are also avenues that might also incorporate some of the arts, some of the reading, mm. because we all know that great scientists also do research. So um, that requires reading and writing to uh, prove their points, right? Yep. Uh, so what type of kid do you think would really benefit from this course? So. It's interesting, I was giving that some thought. I think every kid could benefit from it, believe it or not. Um, it, it, when you walk into a STEM classroom, and we visited other high schools in the area and, and looked at their programs, um, every type of student's in there. Um, a lot of times when you see STEM, you see, oh, it's a robotics type of student mm -hmm. that's in robotics competitions and things like that. But no, it, it includes every student um, in the student body, in my mm -hmm. mind. Um, so like you said, it incorporates a lot. So you can do the science piece, but you also have the mathematics piece, and yeah. there's a lot of research-based um, projects in this class, so you need to write, you know, you might have to write a, a paper and, and do a presentation. And, um, you know, I think every type of student could benefit from mm -hmm. taking a STEM course here at Riverdale, um, especially this new course that we're offering. Great, and this is definitely your, like, light introduction mm -hmm. to the world of STEM, because we do offer some programs that are STEM uh, adjacent, but this is going to be our first ever mm -hmm. STEM specific course. Okay. So that would be really great. Um, so this class sounds like a real benefit to mm -hmm. all our students, no matter if they're in ninth grade or all the way up to 12th grade, even if they just wanted to kind of try something out or experiment. Uh, this is kind of the course where you mm -hmm. can get that done. Um, and we want to say thank you so much You're for welcome. jumping in last yeah. minute. We really do Happy appreciate it. I'm not inside camera the shot, you know, No, of no. course we know that you are not. Um, <laughs> next, we will be hearing from our final guest, Mrs. Warner, on our revamp engineering program. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back. Uh, today we're here with Ms. Swarner to share her intuition on the replacement course, Introduction to Engineering Design, which will take the place of Engineer Your World. This class will continue to have a math co-requisite of Algebra 2 or higher, and one of the few courses that we are discussing in Inside the Dell uh, that are for grades 10 to 11. Now, without further ado, welcome Mrs. Warner. And thank you for sharing your time with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So, Mrs. Warner, engineer, uh, engineering is not a new course at Riverdale, but it is a new program that we're adopting from the Project Lead the Way programming. Uh, would you be able to share with us kind of a brief overview of the class and what students can expect? Uh, sure. So, uh, again, this program is replacing Engineer Your World. Um, I think a big priority for choosing a new engineering program to start next year is having it include some more of the modern career skills um, for engineering, especially CAD design, mm -hmm. computer-aided design. Um, so that's a big part of what students are going to learn in the class. Mm -hmm. It's an introduction to engineering design. So engineering design is what goes into creating the products that we use every day in our lives. Uh, students can expect to learn the CAD software, just 3D mm -hmm. modeling software, um, and then throughout the year we'll build on that. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll start by learning how to just design something in 3D, mm -hmm. 3D print a prototype, and then we'll get into uh, what materials are good for different products, um, how to make things move, how to make different components fit together to make a mm -hmm. device. So uh, that's what we're going to get into throughout the year. Yeah, and this seems like a very collaborative type of environment, right? Yes. Where you have a problem and you need to try to figure out a solution. So it's very problem-based in terms of your instructional model that that program yes. is going to lend, right? Yeah, it's uh, very project-based. Mm -hmm. uh, students will be working in teams, kind of simulating what uh, career environment would be like. 
Wonderful. Um, so can you shed, we already talked about pretty much the skills that they would learn. Um, can you shed some light on the type of student that you think might really excel in a type of engineering design course that we're now implementing? Yes. So um, I think if you already know that engineering is something you might be interested mm -hmm. for a college or a career, then definitely this is a course that you want to take. Um, I think not everybody knows what they want to do later on. Yeah. So um, if you're a student who's interested in math and science, like you find that interesting, but you want to apply that more. Mm -hmm. You want to do that more hands-on, see how those concepts go into actually creating things, yeah. creating the world around us. Um, or anyone who's interested in problem solving or mm -hmm. who's motivated by creating something, creating an original uh, product, an original mm -hmm. idea, solving a problem, or if you're motivated by trying to put something into the world that's going to help people live yeah. their lives. I love that, the idea of like being a real true problem solver in the world yeah. and kind of building off of previous ideas that maybe somebody had and just like growing it out to something different or a different use, so yeah, that's exactly. wonderful. Uh, well, Riverdale is really thrilled to embark on this new journey with Project Lead the Way, and I'm sure you are as well. Um, and we're eager to anticipate kind of what the benefits are going to be for our students. Thank you very much, Ms. Warner, for providing us with this most valuable opportunity to hear a little bit about Introduction to Engineering and Design. Um, and for you watching us, that concludes today's episode. And a big thank you to all of our staff members for their insight into the exciting courses that we have offering this year, both longstanding and new. Until next time, this is Tiffany Correa wrapping up our second episode of Inside the Dell, spotlighting classes that count towards your career, family, and life skills credits. Stay tuned for more.